Hi guys, nice to see you again. My name is Dan Prince and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. The importance of having a shower after a workout can never be overemphasized. The best thing you can do for yourself after a workout is to have a shower. Showering should be part of your post-workout routine. This does not only make you clean and protect you from infection, but it also helps you in muscle recovery. It also boosts your ability to bounce back for your next workout session. But there is a controversy about what kind of water to bathe with after a workout. Hot water or cold water? Some will tell you that bathe with cold water because it will help in muscle recovery. Others will tell you that bathe with warm water because it's going to relax your muscles. We also have some who have a school of thoughts that if you bathe after a workout, you're going to lose your muscle gains or pump. And so these ones decide not to shower at all after a workout because they don't want to lose their muscle gain or pump. But this is completely wrong. If you refuse to shower after a workout, you will end up being prone to skin infections or you're going to stink and they want to have a shower after each workout. So the question now remains, what water should you bathe with after a workout? Hot water or cold water? Well, it might interest you to know that both hot water and cold water has its own benefits. Let us now consider the benefits of bathing with cold water and then we're going to consider the benefits of bathing with hot water. What are the benefits of cold water baths? Number one, it reduces muscle soreness and boosts muscle recovery. Number two, cold shower can help in calming itchy skin. Number three, it increases blood circulation. Number four, it gives your hair and your skin a healthy glow. It tightens the skin and rehydrates the skin, thereby replacing the water loss through sweat as a lot of exercise. Number five, it boosts your immune system. Number six, it awakens you up. When you take a cold shower, it gives you this life. You feel so much awakened. Number seven, it elevates your mood. Bathing with cold water helps in triggering the release of an hormone called endorphin, otherwise known as happiness hormone. This hormone helps to elevate your, your mood. It keeps you in an optimum level. We have lots and lots of benefits of cold water baths. What about the hot water baths? Is it beneficial? Yes, of course. Let us consider the benefits of hot water shower. Number one, hot water baths relaxes the muscles and can ease muscle ache and pain. A research study shows that heat therapy after exercise can reduce muscle soreness by up to 47%. Number two, warm water bath relaxes the blood vessels. It dilates the blood vessels, thereby making it easier for blood to flow through other parts of the body, improving circulation and making the heart function properly. Hot water bath helps to fight depression. It stimulates changes in the brain, which leads to the increase in the secretion of mood stimulating hormone called serotonin, which helps to fight depression. Number four, hot water bath can help improve your sleep. So, the benefits of hot water bath goes on and on and on and on. Having considered the benefits of both hot water shower and cold water shower, the question now remains, which should we use after a workout? Well, to answer that question, let us consider some underlying factors that can determine which water to use. Some of these factors are age. Cold water bath is as just as dangerous as hot water bath for an elderly person. Cold water bath can cause blood vessels to constrict which is the opposite of what happens 
where you have hot water beds. And this could lead to a decrease in the flow of blood to other parts of the body, like the skin, the heart, and the internal organs. This could be very detrimental for an elderly person. The second factor is your health state. For example, if you got a flu or a cold, it is advisable not to bathe with the cold water. The best option is bathe with the warm water because it will help to reduce congestion because bathing with the cold water could only make things worse. The third factor is time. What time of the day do you work out? For example, if you decide to work out at night and then after the work out at night you decide to have a cold shower, there is a possibility that you may not sleep properly because cold shower would only make you awaken. And then if for example you decide to have your workout in the morning and after a morning workout you decide to have a warm shower, there is a possibility that you may feel sleepy because warm water shower makes you relax. So these are some of the factors that could determine what water to use after your workout. Having considered these factors, we'll now move to the question now. What water should you bathe with after a workout? The answer to the question is, bathe with what? Lukewarm water. After a workout, it is not advisable to hop into the bathroom immediately to have a shower. Relax. Cool down for about 20 to 30 minutes. Rehydrate yourself. Drink water to replace the lost one you've lost during the exercise. Allow the heart rate and the body temperature to stabilize and return to its normal resting rate. Then you can now move into the bedroom to have a shower. Start with the lukewarm water for a few minutes and then gradually switch to a cold water. Alternatively, you could do what is called contrast shower, where you switch between cold water and hot water at intervals. You shower in the cold water for a minute and then switch over to the hot water for a minute and then repeat the same cycle three to five times. The idea behind this is when you step into the cold shower, there is a constriction in the blood vessel and then when you switch over to the hot water, the blood vessels open up and the blood rushes out to other parts of the internal organs, the heart and the skin. So this could lead to an improved blood circulation, detoxification and regeneration. Never neglect showering after your workout. It plays a very essential part in your fitness routine. If you find this video useful, please do not forget to like, share, comment, subscribe and also turn on your notification key so that whenever I upload new videos, you will get to see the videos. Until then, peace.